Welcome back to First Look, the show where we give you just a taste of an upcoming board game. Today, I'm going to be looking at Wolfenstein, the board game from Archon Studios. Now, this board game is a cooperative miniatures dungeon crawling game based on the classic video game franchise Wolfenstein. Now, this game has evolved over the years from the old classic 90s Wolfenstein game all the way to the newer Bethesda entries that feature giant open worlds and lots of combat. But the premise of these games is the same. You're fighting your way through a Nazi castle during World War II, eliminating enemies along the way, and fighting these larger-than-life bosses. All of that content that you'd expect to see in the Wolfenstein video games has made its way to the board game. And you're going to see characters, items, and bosses that span the gamut of that entire generation of Wolfenstein games. Now for those of you who already know what to expect, you're going to see a lot of guns and a lot of ammo, but this is not just a shoot 'em up game. In fact, the game is going to offer you a variety of ways to achieve your goals. Each time you sit down to play, you're going to pick a mission. I have a mission book with me that contained 10 missions for the base game. However, there's going to be more of these mission books through stretch goals and expansion content. And these missions are pretty, pretty big. So you're looking at a lot of hours of gameplay here with this game. You're also looking at a board that is really high quality components, including hard plastic injection miniatures. So they're not cutting any costs when it comes to the miniatures you're going to have in this game. And there are a lot of them. I think something like 55 miniatures just in the base box. And that doesn't count any of the stretch goals or expansions. So these are going to be minis that you can put together on your own. And they actually allow some kind of customization with some click options built into the minis that let you just put them together pretty easily. So don't be intimidated if you're not the type that likes to put together and paint your minis. But for those who do, you're going to feature a lot of customization here and you're going to really appreciate that. Now, the missions all vary in the way you're going to try to go about achieving this mission, the mission objectives, the bosses you're going to fight. This game is completely cooperative. So when you lay out the mission, you're going to be using these AI decks that control the enemies you're fighting against. Now, your turn is actually pretty easy to play. The difficulty in this game does not come from the rules itself, but from the tactical decisions that you're going to be making on your turn. Each character has a number of AP that they can spend or action points, which they can use to take actions during their turn. Now, these actions are kind of what you'd expect from a miniatures game. You're going to be moving around the board, getting into and out of cover, taking down your enemies, interacting with objectives, finding and equipping new gear and items. The key thing here to know is the variety of weapons and ammo create a bunch of different combinations. And these combinations are going to inflect the dice that you roll during combat. And of course, there's a variety of enemy types. You've got enemies that are faster, enemies that are slower, enemies that have a lot of armor, enemies that have a lot of health. And you're going to want to choose combinations that maybe deal armor damage or bypass armor or do straight up health damage. So there are a lot of options and a lot of play styles. You can go in guns blazing or you can try to minimize the noise and keep the alerts down and kind of sneak around taking down these Nazi soldiers from the shadows. You can even play across your team in different styles. And of course, teamwork is of huge importance here because not every character is built for every situation and your build is going to offer some strengths and weaknesses compared to the other players. And that's another layer that's kind of built over everything else. And that's the glory system. You're going to be able to earn glory by completing certain actions during the game. And these are going to involve taking out the enemy soldiers, completing missions, and maybe doing some other things that are listed specifically in each mission that are going to give you glory. You can turn around and spend these glory on skills that are unique to your build that are going to help you specialize in whatever focus you're trying to accomplish during the game. And there's a little bit of character advancement that carries on through this as well. Now, like I said, you're getting a ton of content with this game. You've got everything that comes in the core box, plus the expansion, stretch goals, whatever. In addition to that, you can adjust your difficulty level. So for those who are Wolfenstein fans, you probably saw this coming because Wolfenstein is famous for its a variety of difficulty levels. And you're going to have everything from Don't Hurt Me to I Am Death Incarnate. For those of you who have played the video games on that Death Incarnate mode, you know what a challenging experience that is. The board game is no different. This is not necessarily an easy game to win, but as a good 
co-op game should be. You're going to have to practice until you're efficient and you're going to have to work with your team to take out the best action. So this is your first look at Wolfenstein, the board game. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of what makes up this game. And let me know in the comments what you're most excited about or maybe which of the characters you're most excited to play. For me, it's BJ Blazkowicz because I loved those Bethesda remakes. I played those games like crazy and will continue to play them. So I'm excited to getting this to the table more and more and to play through all these unique scenarios. So thank you guys for watching First Look and we will see you next time.